the Foreclosure Abuse Prevention Act. What is that? Well, New York State has been a judicial uh, state, which means that it could take up to six years for a foreclosure to process in New York State. But this act actually just passed the Senate last week and is now before the governor of New York State. I have Kathy Kantrowitz with me, who is the president of the New York Mortgage Association. Kathy, can you just give us a real quick highlight on what this new act that is that's before the governor? Sure, thanks, Sandy. Um, just a uh, real high level, the Foreclosure Abuse Prevention Act is um, has language in it where it's going to uh, require lenders to move forward quickly on foreclosures because the six-year limitation will be in place and currently a lender could decelerate a uh, action by trying other options with the borrower for loss mitigation. But if they do that under this new act, then they will no longer be able to bring the action again against the consumer, which means they cannot foreclose. So one of the big concerns from a lender's point of view, as well as a concern for the consumer is there will not be as many workout opportunities for borrowers. Uh, the foreclosures are going to be pushed forward. Um, and this is proposed as a retroactive bill. So any foreclosure cases in process already will come under this legislation, which has many of the agencies, uh, Fannie, Freddie, VA, FHA, concerned um, with the expense that this is going to introduce. And if the cost of a mortgage increases in New York State, then unfortunately that's going to ultimately be passed on to the borrower. Okay, so there's there's uh, more information on this. I'm going to actually have a link to this in the next issue of the Brick, uh, the newsletter that I published that'll be out this week. Uh, you can see it through a uh, link in profile or by going to my website at www dot hudson valley nest dot com um, if you are not yet a subscriber you can subscribe there but you can also see back issues and uh this information will be in the may of 2022 issue so thank you kathy appreciate your time you're welcome